Hello. So Happy Chaos just came out, and I wanted to make a video talking about him. So far, he seems pretty cool. As far as fighting game characters that have guns, he's the first guy that I really feel plays like he uses a gun in a fight. And that's uh, partly because of his reloading mechanic. As you can see on the bottom left, he only has six bullets. So if I empty my clip, I can no longer shoot. So now if I try to shoot, I just can't, which is pretty interesting. So you have to manually reload your gun. This is sort of similar to Naoto in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. He's sort of reminiscent of her but not really exactly like her. And one of the things that's very interesting about him is he can just access his gun at all times, as long as he has bullets and focus to use, which means he can create some really tough block strings to deal with. For example, if I set the dummy to guard here and I just make him block this, as you can see, um, I can essentially make myself plus with the gun. So he has moves like this or this that are very negative on block. But if you use the gun, you can essentially just give yourself plus frames as long as you have bullets and focus. So for example, if I set uh, Soul to do a reversal 5k on block and then I do a block string like if I use my gun what it essentially allows him to do is just be really scary up close because you know once he scares you into respecting his pressure with um, the gun he can just run it run up and throw after shooting you or he can uh, excuse me continuous pressure right and if you start respecting him a lot he can even go for stuff like this where he can make his dust safe so because he can shoot at any point he essentially gets the combo off of dust which is extreme and that's uncharged dust not a uh, charged dust of course everybody can do that so he can get a hard knockdown off dust it's uh so that's that's pretty interesting he also has moves like 2s which has incredible range but he can't really combo it into anything unless you have bullets in which case you can essentially just do the move at, at max range and then just blast them and then run up and continue the combo this takes a little bit of practice because you have to learn how to move and shoot at the same time and it's not as easy to do as it makes as it may sound what helps me is i practice sort of holding down the dash macro and also spamming circle of which or hard slash which would be your shoot uh with this guy and then it lets you do stuff like that so far i haven't really been using that a lot in matches but i probably should because it seems like it'd be pretty good 2s seems to go about as far as any of his moves do uh and it's also not it doesn't seem to be quite as negative as far slash as you can see he's got a lot of recovery there so thanks to the range and the frame data i think 2s is a really good poke the only problem is you can't really get anything out of it unless you use your gun as i said before the other thing is his 5k and 2k are actually amazing. I mean, you can just look at the range from just visually looking at this. And even at max range, it combos into 6k, which is a command normal he has. And that allows him to do stuff like that. Stuff like that um, or even stuff like this
which I don't think I need to tell you how incredible that is to get 217 damage from a 5k. You know, maybe characters like Soul can get that because of his, um, his success, but for a lot of characters that's definitely not the case. Their lights usually only really lead into like a hard knockdown. But anyways, I think I should explain the way his gun works a little deeper. Pretty much all his buttons work as usual, except for Hard Slash. Hard Slash, he doesn't really get attacks from it, he doesn't get normals. If you just press it raw, he will activate his gun and start aiming at the opponent. And then if you press it again, he will shoot. Which is kind of interesting. And the especially interesting part is you don't need to Gatling into pulling up your gun, which means you. this is sort of like an ever-looming presence that Happy Chaos has of he can just pull out the gun. Now, that might sound amazing, and it is, but it has some, um, it has some weaknesses. Uh, for example, if I set Soul to run at me here, and I try to just aim at him and shoot him, as you saw, I started shooting when he was about midway through his run and my bullets didn't really hit him until he was point blank and the reason for that is because uh the reticle actually follows the opponent so you can see the reticle is too slow to catch up to soul and also the reticle becomes less accurate after you shoot if you've played counter-strike or valorant or a game like that this might be a mechanic that's familiar to you I mean, really, pretty much any shooter works like this, and I think that's sort of what they were going for. And personally, I just find that so cool. The fact that his gun is, you know, you have to aim to shoot it. I think it's pretty interesting. It adds a lot to his character. It really feels like his gun isn't just sort of a projectile you have, but its own thing that isn't really like anything else I've seen and that's you know I was talking about how he sort of reminds me of Naoto from Persona 4 but her gun pretty much works just like a really fast projectile whereas Happy Chaos it's not like he's shooting linearly uh, the bullets only appear where the reticle is which means that you can dodge him by running around but of course, it gets even deeper than that. He's got this, not that, he's got this move, quarter circle forward punch, that puts a curse on your opponent. And what this does is it makes you aim at them faster. So if I do that, you can see the radical becomes smaller. I am way more accurate. You know, still not 100% accurate, but it definitely helps. Normally, what I found playing matches is zoning using just this is not very helpful because, or not very useful because they'll just be running at you and then your guns, your gun will just miss, right? I usually use steady aim for zoning because if I just do it it'll pretty much always go on your opponent it's kind of rare for it to miss it still does miss sometimes but it's not very common um it, it mostly has to do with sort of combos where the gravity is very high and they just sort of fall out of the reticle um but as far as them moving around even if they do something like this where they air dash at you you will still be able to shoot him mid-air dash. Which is incredible because essentially what this means is uh, even though it takes a little bit of time to aim, once you enter steady aim, your opponent essentially just has to be... they just have to stand still and block. Or jump and block. But they can't run at you. They can't really do attacks. Like if they were throwing a projectile or something. As you see, if he if he just throws a projectile and I'm in steady aim, then he's essentially screwed. And like I said, it does take a little bit of time to get into it. But 
If you're full screen, they essentially don't have a way of escaping you doing that. Steady aim seems like it's amazing, but it drains your focus a lot. And your focus is something that I haven't really talked about too much, but anytime you shoot, you will use some of your focus as well as your bullets. So as you can see, even though I have six bullets, I can only shoot five before I run out of focus. Similarly, if I use Steady aim, I can only shoot about two or three before I run out of focus. And running out of focus is not something you want to do because if I shoot and then I go out of, out of gun stands, you will see my focus begins to recover again. Even if I have very little focus, I can always go back into shooting as long as I'm not out of focus. But as you can see, if I don't have any focus, even if I have bullets you can see him fumbling with his gun you cannot shoot you cannot shoot until you get back to full focus you also cannot enter steady aim which means even though you have this great tool if you run out of focus you can't really access it so this is sort of similar to what you have to do with eddie when you're playing zato where you have to keep in mind how much zato meter you have left and if possible, try to unsummon to get it back faster. Part of the routing for his combos and his pressure, I think is going to have to do with either putting yourself in a situation where you don't use a lot of focus or you build it back by ending your combo like that, for example. Uh, quarter circle back punch is this move that it builds back part of your focus so as you can see, it boosts my focus a little bit, and it also means that I don't use quite as much focus. This is very obvious when we do steady aim. So with steady aim, like I said before, you can only shoot about two times, two or three. But if you have focus, um, you can shoot a lot more times. If you have a quarter circle back punch, you can shoot about four times, which is significantly more. And it means you can also get a lot more damage. So that's essentially it as far as his extra resources go. So now let's get into some combos. And the first one I'd like to showcase is a loop that... It's one of the first ones I found and I feel like it has a lot of value, especially because of how it works in pressure. But you might want to be able to confirm into something else once you are more comfortable with the character. But essentially what it is, is you do... 5k, 6k, uh, shoot, then micro dash 5k, um, and then 2d. The nice thing is it'll work pretty much from anywhere as long as you have running momentum. And it gives you a really juicy hard knockdown at the end with the... 2D, which allows you to reload your gun if you need or go for focus. And you still have time to run up and meaty them, as you can see. Even if you do a slower move like uh, focus, you can still get a, a meaty in. Um, and you can also get a throw if you want. You can even do something like this, where you throw the ball at them and then focus or throw the ball at them and then reload and another nice thing about it is it only uses very little focus and very little bullets very few bullets so as you can see i still have about 70 percent of my 70 or 80 percent of my focus bar and i only use one bullet so it's a very low resource intensive combo and you can combo into it from pretty much anywhere starting with 5k or close slash it's also very nice for getting grounded wall splats which i'm sure will become important later um and i don't have any grounded wall splat setups yet but i have noticed that you have enough time to both focus and reload your bullets I see I even had too many pl uh, plus frames there. So 
uh, because of that type of combo that has so many hits, uh, I think grounded wall splats are a very real possibility for this character. They're very easy to set up because of that. But it's not the only thing you want to go with. A more perhaps desirable route to go for is to combo into quarter circle forward slash. And what I've been doing is either close slash or 5k into 6k into quarter circle forward slash. And if you finish it with super in the corner, you can even get more damage, uh, which is very nice. And another thing you can do, and this I am very much not good at, but you can actually do loops with his roll move, quarter circle back kick. Uh, and essentially what you do here is you do the same route, but then you do uh, micro dash 5k, 6k, and then you do a roll, then you shoot, and then you uh, do this loop of close slash and 6k. Let's see if I can get it. And there we go. And as you can see, it's a corner to co uh, corner combo if you do it right. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It actually does fairly low damage compared to the other one. But the corner carry is very nice. The meter build is very nice. Um, so it might be worth going for if you're going to become a happy chaos main. But I'll warn you, it's pretty hard to do. And... It's very different depending on, uh, the timing is very different depending on which character you're doing it on. Even within the same weight classes, so for example, because of the way he falls, where he's sort of falling in a horizontal way, it makes it hard for some of the parts to connect on him, whereas Kai, it's usually easier. It's going to take some practice to get it, but it might be worth it. Now for the corner, you don't get anything too amazing, but you can get the decent meterless damage. It's not really quite as much as someone like Soul or me, but it's something. Uh, and essentially what you do is this. So that's not bad. Uh, it uses up a lot of your focus and you will have to reload at the end to get one of your bullets back. If you want to do a sort of easier one, you can just do, you can do 5s, 6s, shoot, 5s, 6s, shoot, and then 5s again. That combo also does pretty good damage, not quite as good as the other one. You use less ammo and you use less focus, which is pretty nice. The only problem is you have to confirm it from close slash into 6s, which is not usually what you're going for. You're usually going for 6s into 6k, but it's still a one worth learning. And the same problem actually applies to the higher damage variant. And then, like I showcased before, the the micro dash uh, grounded loop also works in the corner. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It only uses two bullets though, and it doesn't really use a lot of focus. So, don't feel too bad if you're doing that one instead of the harder, more damaging ones. And the other thing is breaking the wall with super is very important for happy chaos in a similar way to Zato. Because his super replenishes his ammunition, it's worth using pretty much on cooldown. Anytime you have one bar, if you can end your combo on it, it's going to be worth something. You will probably be giving up Oki if you do it outside of the corner, but the damage is so nice and the fact that it reloads your gun is also really nice. So. I like to pretty much go for it whenever I can.
and as you can see it does a ton of damage. The other thing I wanted to go into is a bit of a better explanation on how steady aim works. So as you can see when you first go into steady aim, the reticle sort of comes from a random direction and goes into where Soul is. If you shoot immediately, it'll only do about 39 damage. It doesn't really do that much, but if you wait till the reticle is centered, it'll do 59 damage. So it's a significant damage increase and it also launches him in a different way. As you can see, he bounces up further than if I just shoot immediately. Uh, it sort of gives him that spin bounce and it's very nice for combos if you can get that one because of the extra damage and the extra bounce it makes it so you can get better stuff and also and also when your opponent is coming at you from the air and you get him with steady aim you can sometimes go into reload from steady aim and then continue your combo afterwards like this which is very nice as far as uh, anti-air damage goes. And of course you can also go into steady aim from uh, counter hit 6p, which is very nice. That's a good 133 damage from 6p, which is not the case for every character. Uh, for example, Chip doesn't even come close to doing that meterlessly. Thanks to steady aim doing so much damage, counter hit combos just explode your enemy. So if I set him to be counter hit here, you get a lot of damage. And if you do focus, you can boost your damage even further. Now, of course, this is only a first impression, so there's a lot of stuff that I don't really know about. I've experimented a little bit with doing roll and then crossing over and shooting, but it's not the easiest thing to do reliably, and it seems like it would be fairly easy to react to uh, in actuality. It's nice that you can get a combo out of it, but as you can see, you have to be in the middle of pressure or a combo already for the reticle to be accurate. And as you can see, if I just try to do the roll and then shoot, the reticle sort of moves somewhere else. Another thing I've been sort of experimenting with is using the gun to be ambiguous as to a cross up. Uh, you can do this from certain combos or certain pressure strings. So I think there's some potential to do some stuff where you make it ambiguous whether you're going to shoot when you're behind them or when you're in front of them. But I haven't really figured out a way to make it uh, convert into anything significant. Um, So for now I'm pretty much just sticking to using my pressure to go for throw or go for more pressure. You can also go for a low or you can go for dust, which is very nice. Um, and as far as playing matches with Chaos, I haven't played too many, but it seems like he doesn't really fit within uh, archetypes that I've really played before. He does really well full screen because of steady aim and uh, moves like this and this. He can sort of set up shop and start zoning uh, but he also do does really well when he's in front of you because of his gun. It allows him to create really nasty pressure strings. However he doesn't really do great in the mid screen. He doesn't have buttons I mean they're quite good uh, overall especially 5k and 2k but he doesn't really have like a Ramlethal or a May 5s 2s anything like that 
The stuff he has is pretty nice, but a lot of it doesn't seem to be disjointed. Some of his buttons are quite slow in terms of the recovery or the startup. Um, so you definitely want to be wary about what you're, what you're poking with and what distance you're playing at. Ideally, I think you want to be up close or like I said before, pretty much full screen so you have enough time to do slower moves or use steady aim. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it.